Welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to show you the fast way to edit jump cuts in your video and the three ways you can hide them for a more professional and polished look. And just to make things a little more complicated, I'm going to have two video recordings synced together, a camera recording and a screen recording. So our jump cuts will have to be done to both tracks so everything stays in sync. Jumping right into Camtasia, here we can see that I have a project already open. And these are the two tracks that are synced together and I'm going to apply my jump cuts to both of them. This top track here is this track here. That's the camera that also has some audio in it. And then this bottom track is the screen recording. So the first thing I'm going to do before I get started is I want to highlight the top track, the camera recording, and I want to stretch that to cover the entire screen. But remember, we want to make our jump cuts to both tracks so that everything stays in sync. So let me just increase the size of these tracks here so that I can see the audio a little bit better. And I'm also going to zoom in on the timeline. Now there's a couple of shortcuts I'm going to tell you about that I'm going to be using here. The first one is the space bar. That will advance the playhead forward. It's the same as pressing this play button here. So space bar to start the playhead playing and then space bar again will stop it. So I'm going to use that shortcut all the way through these edits. The other one is the letter S, and the S key will split a track that's highlighted at the playhead. So S stands for split. So if we highlight a track and then press the S key, that will split the recording into two different pieces. But as you can see, I only split the top track. I did not split the bottom one. So let's just reverse that. In order to split them both, I'm going to use the mouse and click and drag to highlight them both, both tracks. Put the playhead where I want to make the cut or split and hit the S key. And now both of them have been cut in the same place. Okay, so those are the shortcuts I'm going to use. Now let's go through this. I'm going to place the playhead at the beginning of the first audio I see and then hit the space bar to hear it. Okay. Oh, I can't hear that. I need my headphones. I have my speakers off so they don't feed back into the microphone. So I need my headphones to be able to listen to this while I edit it. So let me place it here and hit the space bar. Okay, we are recording. Okay, no, I don't want that. So I can just highlight this, press the S key, highlight them again, and then I'm going to press the delete key, and that deletes the part that I don't want. Okay, so let's zoom in a little closer here. And now let's just go through this. Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another. Okay, so this first part was obviously a mistake because I said it again. So I'm gonna place my, pl my playhead right there, highlight these, S key to split them, and then highlight them again, delete key to delete. Let's press play Hello, again. Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to do... Now I just want to see if this is a repeat as well. In this video... And it is. Let's check this over here. This from Jim... No, that's something new. So this part was obviously a mistake, and this is the, the part that I want to keep. So I will place the playhead there, cut that there, and then over here... I'm Rob Moore. Right around there, I want to split that. Delete what's in the middle, the part that I don't want, and let's move this back together, see how that sounds. Here's a quick tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to answer a... And that's our first jump cut. So what we have to do is we have to go through our entire video, making jump cuts as we see fit, so that it basically tightens up the audio throughout the video, and will make the video in the end much easier to watch uh, without all the unnecessary pauses. So I'm just going to speed through this now. You don't need to watch me do all of these cuts. Okay, so here we go. So I've got all of my jump cuts made, or I've got them made all the way up to this point. That's, that's good enough for this example. Now let me just start watching this through. Hello, and welcome to another Camtasia Quick Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to... If you notice, uh, I did remove the uh, unnecessary pause there, but the break is rather abrupt. 
Let's just zoom in here and I'll show you again. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, See how abrupt that is? So as I mentioned earlier, I've got three ways, three tricks that you can use to hide these jump cuts and make them less abrupt. The first one is cut in. So what I mean by that is when we go from one clip to the next clip, we want to cut in or zoom in. We change the scale of the video so that the cut doesn't become as noticeable. So watch what I mean. If we highlight this first one, we can see up here that the scale is at 100%. Now let's come to the next clip and let's change this. Let's just scale it up a little bit. Let's change it oh, to 120. I'm going to reposition it a little bit. Now let's see what that looks like. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to... Isn't that better? So we cut in and that hides the jump cut. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to... So as you notice, when I changed this scale to 120%, that only applied to this one clip. The very next clip is back at 100%. So that leads me into the second way we can hide a jump cut, and that's the cut out. We're cutting out or we're zooming back out to 100%. This from Jim Nagoya. And that's another way to hide the jump cut, cut in or cut out. And you can vary how much you cut in or cut out. In fact, I might even want to cut in closer. So this one was 120%. Let's make this one 130%. Reposition a little bit and play back. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was recently posted on my comments, and it is as follows. This from Jim Nagoyan. Can you tell me your export settings? Your and as you notice, it cut back out to 100% from the 130. So those are the first two ways you can hide jump cuts. Now, let me just put these all back to 100%, and I will show you the third way we can hide them, 100%. So now, oh, we have to change our positioning again. I had moved the positioning. Let's move that back up. Move it back up. And that one was fine. Okay, so again, let's more. try to hide this abrupt change. And the way we're going to hide the jump cut this time, the third way is by adding B-roll. And what B-roll is, is supporting video that you might want to cut to. Um, so we're going to completely cut away from uh, the talking head type video and, and show a supporting video B-roll. So I have a, a clip here prepared. Let's just drag this down like so. So it's just a little video of my microphone. So now let's see. So now the cut is still there right below this video and then this video, this B-roll clip is going to hide this clip, but the audio will still be there. So now let's watch what that looks like. Camtasia quick tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was... You see that? So cutting to a B-roll clip will also hide the jump cut and make it less abrupt. Let me just trim this B-roll sequence right there. And this, in effect, is going to be cutting back to the talking head portion of the video away from the B-roll. So let's watch that. Tip. I'm Rob Moore. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that was recently posted on my comments, and it is as follows. This from Jim Nagoyan. Can there. So that shows you the third way that we can hide jump cuts, and that's with adding B-roll. So those are the three tricks that I use to hide my jump cuts. There are also some variations on jump cuts. There are L cuts and J cuts, and I'll talk more about those in another video. That's it for now. Be sure to subscribe for more Camtasia quick tips, and I'll see you in the next video.